What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another how-to video. This how-to video is based off of paint.net 4.0.9. If you guys want the link in the description to download this, it will be down below. Um, today I will be showing you how to create a thumbnail. Now first off you want to do is, if you guys already know how to use this and um... You got to try to upload your thumbnail. It says it's too small or too big. I don't know which one. If you guys don't even know how to use this and you're just starting off, this is a good video for you. So first off, you want to go to File and hit New. Now I'll bring this up. You want to hit 1280. 2080 out of 720. 720. Now you hit the OK button. And it'll bring up that. Well, it looks the same because I already had it. Um, but what this does is to allow you upload your thumbnail to your video without being too small or too big. It's just the right amount, okay? Now, if you guys want to do like a based off of blog current survival games or something, take a snapshot. I would suggest this. Take a snapshot. I'm going to use this one. You could either drag it to your paint or you can save it to your desktop and hit open. Okay, so we're going to use this one for some weird reason. Um, so, you want to go to your um, internet browser and put this in. I'll show you here. Okay, not that. Okay, Minecraft. We could do blocks, okay? Minecraft blocks. Okay, we can choose, let's choose this one. We can't choose that one because it has the white background. So we will choose this one. Okay, now this is where you really need to pay attention because if it has the white, um, like a pixel thing in the background like this, you need to save it to your desktop. But I already have one on it. Save it to your desktop. Go back to your paint. And hit, um... Now, I go back to here. There's a white thing always there. So, I go back to there. Hit File. Open. And I have it. My desktop. I got thumbnail. I have it right here. So, you double click it. Now, what you want to do without all that background in there. So, you want to go over to Vectangle Select. And select the whole thing. And hit copy you hit copy and you go back to your original thing you want to put and now down here it will say add new lay you want to hit that and then hit paste and then there's your thing you can size it you can turn it all kinds of stuff so you want so if I want it to be like probably not that big like right there and I would go back to here, hit File, hit Open. And if I want to add a sword to it, you go to a King of Select, select it all, copy, go back to your original, and please do not forget to add the layer. Now, it would, it will do this. Now, you want to, I would hit Control D which is control deselect but I don't know exactly where it is on here oh there it is okay if you hit it hit edit go all the way down it has deselect or control D and it will unselect that and then add a new background or layer whatever you want to call it hit paste hit keep canvas size if it's way too big for the picture don't expand it, don't cancel it, put keep canvas size, and then you can always trim it down a little bit, right there, you can trim it down, you can turn it right there, oh, I didn't mean to turn it again, boom. Now if you want the Minecraft logo, hit, oh, hit control D. Um, add new layer, just in case I forget, you can go back here, go file, hit, open. I'll put the link in the description for this here. 
if you guys can get this exact Minecraft logo. If you want a new one, you can go um, look it up on the internet. Hit copy, go back to here, hit paste, keep canvas size, remember all that, keep it. Don't do anything, don't cancel it, just keep the canvas size. Keep trimming it down. Of course, that's really, really a big Minecraft logo there. Keep trimming it. Okay, there we go. I trimmed it. So put it right there. Trim it a little bit more. There we go. Minecraft. Now, if you guys want a text, don't. I don't prefer to use this text because you can't make a size. You can't do anything with it. So you go back to your thing. Now you hit. Now, this is a website called cooltext.com. I'll put it in the link in the description. You can um, go back and go back. Okay, there's all different kinds. There's keen, there's fun, there's burning, there's easy, there's glow. But make sure, always make sure it has that background. As you can see in the background right there, make sure it always has that. Well, you cannot put it into the paint.net. So I would say, um, survival games. Create logo. You. This is how I would do it. You can create the logo, and then left click it up here, and then save imagine wherever you want to save it to. I'll save it to Minecraft thumbnail stuff. You don't have to um, name it, but if you do. You can. I don't name it. And then you go back to here. And you hit. I always go back to the white thing. Um, I don't know why I do it. And then you hit open. Where is it? Survival game right there. Rectangle. Boom. Hit copy. And it's okay if you add another layer and then you... And you forgot you added that layer and you can add another one. It doesn't really matter. Um, to add a layer. See, I'll add two layers just to show you. It doesn't really matter. Hit paste. See, it didn't really do anything. Of course, this is not survival games. I don't know when I took this. Okay, there you go. This is how you create a good thumbnail. Minecraft survival game. And you can do whatever you guys want to it. Um, but make sure you hit go over here. Hit file, save as, and wherever you want to save it, save it to your desktop, save it where you have a specific file, I don't care, just save it wherever you want to keep it, make sure you give this big thumbs up, and um, you guys will actually see the thumbnail for this video, so give it a thumbs up, and if you do like my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with another how-to or gaming video.